everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot, hot minute since I last spoke to you, but I've moved house, I've got a new background. I can actually film, sort of, when it's pitch black outside. It's only like five o'clock and it's so, so dark outside. But today I've got for you kind of like a beauty haul, Black Friday haul. I've got things from Beauty Bay, I've got things from Cult Beauty few things and boots and then one thing I bought direct from the brand. Let's get right into it. So the first thing that I picked up is a thing I picked up direct from the brand. They're a UK based brand, I think down in Devon or Cornwall or somewhere down in the southwest of the country. And it's a brand called Monday's Child. They have a skin perfecting oil, which is just gorgeous. And I've already had one used my way through it. And so I wanted to pick up another one. Looks like nothing special but this does such wonders for the redness of my skin. I find I have to wear such a significant less, that's a terrible way of wording it. I now wear a lot less foundation because my skin is fundamentally a lot better. This has been a holy grail, and so when I ran out, I had to pick up another one and they had a little Black Friday deal on. Next up, I picked up a few pieces of skincare from the Florence by Mills brand, which is Millie Bobby Brown's brand. I got the Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. I love a good peel off mask. And I kid, this one is quite like gentle as peel off masks go. And it has such a fascinating color to it. Like it's bright purple. So I picked up the face mask. I also picked up the Get That Grime Face Scrub. Equally just wanted to try something and I love how like beautiful and purple the packaging is. I'll let you know how I get on with them. Grabbed three top up concealers. So ones that I've tried and I know I love. I've got the collection at Lasting Perfection Concealer but in the new packaging. The Revlon Conceal and Define Concealer and then the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. Not much to say about these. These are kind of restocks, ones I know I absolutely adore and I really get on with. Two more sort of boring things before we get on to the more kind of interesting things. I've got the Max Factor Face Fillity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Primer, Concealer and Foundation. I've had about two or three bottles of this in the past and loved it, so I had to pick up another one. And then I repurchased this after not having it for ages and it's this Open Glory One Heck of a Blot Powder. I used to love this and I haven't used it for like years. So I felt like I had to re-pick it back up again. I had to stock up on my It CC cream. I have had two tubes of this and I absolutely adore it. And I run out and it's one of those things I've missed and I've like consciously missed while I haven't had it. So I picked up my shade, which is Fairlight. I just love this stuff so, so much. And I'm really excited to have this back in my life. And then on the other end of the spectrum, this is such good value for money. This is the RCMA, the original no color powder. Even when this isn't on discount, it's stupidly cheap. I've had my other one for about two years now and basically finished it up. And so I had to pick up another one. The packaging is still not great, but at least there is a way to sort of tip this into this lid and you've got a little bit of a method of using it. But yeah, can't wait to have this back in my collection. I picked up an Ofra mini highlighter and this is in the shade Rodeo Drive. I've always wanted an Ofra highlighter. I think they are absolutely stunning. And I only picked up a mini one because like who actually uses a highlighter up? And I really think this would be like a really pretty colour for my inner corner and my brow bone. So it's not like I'm going to use a lot of it anyway. And it's just adorable. Continuing on the highlighter trend, I picked up the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in the shade Blossom Glow. This is just gorgeous. I absolutely love the colour of this. I just lacked highlighters. So I picked up two new ones to try out and I'll see how they go. I am that person who actually thinks that the small mascaras are better value for money because mascaras dry up more before they finish and so I just get the mini ones and they kind of last just as long in my opinion. So I picked up the miniature of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and it's just something I've always wanted to try so I picked up a miniature of that. I picked up a dose of colours liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Truffle. I actually don't know too much about this brand. I know of their existence and I've 100,000% heard people talking about them, but I don't really know much about them. And I really liked this colour and I really love the kind of 
frosted packaging. So I picked it up, I'll give it a go, and of course, I'll let you know. I've got two of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits, and I've got one in the shade Very Recognise, and one in the shade Bad Girls Club. They're just quite fun colours and I haven't really tried much from Wet n Wild as a brand so I just wanted to try something out from them. I chucked away a lot of lip products when I moved because they'd kind of gone out of date so I was kind of on the lookout to find something new to add something to my collection so yeah. And then we've got three more items so I decided to pick something up from the Beauty Bay skincare range just because I haven't actually tried anything from it yet and I do hear relatively good things. So I picked up the Nourishing Oil and yeah, I've really got into oils recently, especially this one here for Monday's Child. So I wanted to try something else and kind of compare and contrast. I don't like the packaging as much, but yeah, thought I'd give this a go. And now I'm gonna finish off with two of the things I'm most excited about and they're both eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna start off with this one. This is the Beauty Bay Pastels palette. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now because I did actually already open this one and try this one out. I've had my eye on this for such a long time and I've only recently really started to get into coloured eyeshadows. It has eight pastel colours in there and today I've just got the um, purple just like on a light wash all over my eyes. They're not the most pigmented and bright shades in the world but they are pastels so don't really know what I was expecting, but I just really, really love these shades and I think they're really pretty. I just thought it was a bit of fun and I need a bit more colour in my collection because all my eyeshadow palettes are basically the same colours over and over and over again in different formations. <laughs> and in terms of all the same colours over and over again in different um, variations, I basically bought a palette which is that again, but one that I've had my eye on for such a long time. And this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I have a Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette, you know, the little um, 9 3 by 3 palettes, and I use it all the time. I absolutely love the formula of them, I love the colour selection in that palette, and so I thought it was about time I gave myself a little bit of a treat and bought one of the full size ones. This and Natasha Denona are like the two brands of eyeshadow palettes I kind of aspire to have, but don't really feel like I can afford. And let's face it, this year has been a bit shit. So it is so pretty. I just love it. I love all of these kind of orangey tones up the end here. I hear such mixed things about this palette that it intrigues me more. I kind of want to know what it's about. I've just always wanted it. So I thought I'd pick it up. And that's everything I bought makeup and skincare related in the Black Friday sales. I I'm so pleased and happy with everything I picked up and I'm so excited to actually give it all a go. And yeah, I'll be posting reviews either on Instagram, on my blog or potentially over here. So I'm sure you will hear from me what I think about all these things. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. I hopefully will be back soon. Yeah, I'm hoping that now I have actually got a situation where I can actually film pretty much all the time, regardless of weather, that I will be able to film more often. So, bye!